What's up, good people? Bernard Riley back in here with another one. You see the title, you see the thumbnail, you already see what's going on here. Boyce Watkins is using Kevin Samuels' death to pander to black women and promote getting with single mothers. And he dropped the doozy of a line. The doozy of a line that we need to listen to women. Yep, that's right. That's the message that he's giving in this situation that black men need to listen to women. I just recently did a live stream where I talked about uh, Derek Jackson and how he used Kevin Samuels' death to pander to black women. And it's a long three-hour live stream, but in it, he justified the simple fact that there are a lot of black women celebrating and doing a whole praise dance over Kevin Samuels' death. And he essentially, in so many words, said we can't invalidate their feelings and how they feel and how Kevin Samuels made them feel, thus justifying them celebrating a man's death. And I'm noticing a trend here where all the simps and panda bears are now starting to just simply come out of the woodwork. It's like after Kevin Samuels' death, they're like Scar and the hyenas just moving, trying to move in on Pride Rock. Like that's that's what's happening here. <laughs> that's That's what's happening here. But let's roll the not so beautiful bean footage. I know some of y'all like what Kevin had to say. Some of y'all don't. I'm not here to judge that. It's your choice. He had over a million subscribers because there are a, a, a millions of men who don't feel heard, who don't feel listened to, who don't feel respected. And at the same time, I think that men, you know, we got to start listening to women, man. We 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 got some men out here that just really, um, unfortunately, somebody screwed your head on backward. Uh, you got your masculinity from the internet because maybe you didn't have a daddy. Uh, maybe you hate single mothers because your father wouldn't didn't spend time with you, and you you because you feel like you weren't worth uh, anybody's love. That that a child who has the misfortune of losing their father is not worthy of love either. You have a right to say I don't want to date a single mom, but when you're marketing that and using that as an avenue to express vitriol amongst millions of single mothers out here, some of whom help raise your raggedy ass. Like that mama was your last line of defense between you and you being a little little damn male hooker getting somebody poking you in the butt every day. Like without your mama, you would be dead, Negro. Can't you just express your own wishes without using that as a weapon to make people feel bad about a situation that they probably already feel bad about? No. Okay, he said Kevin Samuels had millions of subscribers because men don't feel heard and they don't feel listened to. How does he go from there to... Men, we need to start listening to women. Like if he would have simply said a lot of those men don't feel heard or didn't feel heard, didn't feel listened to. And that's why they cling to a message like Kevin Samuels. And he would have just simply said, but there's other messages out there. I would have side eyed that. I would have side eyed that. But if he would have just simply presented another form of a message from a man that men should listen to, I, I, I would accept that. I would side eye it. But I would accept it. I, I honestly would. I honestly would. But the simple fact that he went all the way there and said, we need to start listening to women. These is, is, is becoming quite clear and quite obvious. These guys, they simply do not like masculinity. They do not like men being in charge. They do not like men being firm. He could be teaching finances. He could be teaching economics. And I'm sure he does give some information on that. But why is he also smuggling in, smuggling in the notion of men following women, men acquiescing to women, men getting behind women? To say that men, we need to start listening to women after Kevin Samuels' death. He's basically saying, I see, I, I acknowledge that Kevin Samuels was your leader. I'm going to present to you a different leader. That leader is a woman. Follow a woman. Do what a woman says. Now, Kevin Samuels wasn't the only one, but in terms of platform size, he was the biggest advocate for a man who wants to start a family to start your own family from the ground up. Build it from within. Don't just set up shop in an already existing family. That was part of the message, but that really wasn't necessarily a, a, a message that he contrived or just dug up out of somewhere. That's literally what men who had done things the right way, lived the right kind of life, became successful and didn't have kids, and now they wanted to start a family. That was genuinely what they wanted to do. That was genuinely how they wanted to do it. And Kevin Samuels echoed their sentiments on a world stage. Now here 
in Kevin Samuel's death, what Boyce Watkins is trying to do is take that aspect of the message and try to try to bury it with Kevin Samuels. That's essentially what he's trying to do right there. He's trying to take that aspect of the message and bury it with Kevin Samuels and say that, oh, no, 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 no. Don't don't listen to that. You know, it's almost like he's celebrating like the women ding dong, the witch is dead. Now, um, you can go you can you can, you can you can go back to the regularly scheduled program. And don't worry about starting your own legacy with a woman who doesn't have kids and you don't have kids and y'all build it up together. Like, no, 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 no. Forget, forget all of that. Forget all of that. Let's, let's, let's go back. Let's go back to uh status quo. That's essentially what he's trying to do. And I said it in my tribute video called remembering Kevin Samuels. I pointed out in there something that I've said before that if you're against Kevin Samuels, you're against black families. What Kevin Samuels was advocating for is essentially traditional black families. Now, even if you can say that there's something noble about a man taking on a woman with kids and, and helping take care of those kids, you can say something is noble about that, but also what you're doing when you promote that, because we're talking about promotion here, he's promoting something. What you do when you promote that, you're essentially pacifying and enabling a lot of the bad behavior that in many cases, led to those situations happening. If you want those situations to happen less, then yes, some criticism needs to happen from it. And some men need to stand on their square and not go do it and not give the stepdaddy bailout plan. Just, just, just flat out. That's just the reality of it. Now, if somebody does it, great. But there's a percentage of men who don't want to do it, who they want to start their families. They want to start their own families to try to make it seem like they're doing something wrong for putting out their ideas, views, and perspectives, and to try to use Kevin Samuels' death to try to pander to single mothers, to essentially try to get men, <laughs> black men, uh, metaphorically speaking, back on the plantation, <laughs> so to speak, to try to get them back on the plantation. And it's, it's weird when you're even doing that because seeing as the amount of black single mothers that there are, when black people do get married, quite often a black man is becoming a stepdaddy. But some men stepping away from that is too much to bear to where he has to use Kevin Samuel's death to pander to single mothers and try to bury that aspect of Kevin Samuel's message with him. The inconclusion of Kevin Samuel's message of men not doing that, of men not becoming stepdaddies, men starting their own family, their own legacy, building it from the ground, ground up. The end result of that could very well be more women coming up realizing that, oh, my chances, my percentages and everything is decreased when I become a single mother. I need to take preventative measures to make sure I don't get pregnant before I'm married. And men will also take more preventative measures to make sure that they don't get a woman pregnant before they're married. And we know all the data facts and statistics when somebody is born into a nuclear family. You're better off to be born black into a nuclear family than to be born white in America to a single mother. So if you're fighting against Kevin Samuels right there, you're fighting against a better black community. But you're supposed to be the community-minded one, and we're the misogynist over here. Let that sink in.